I understand Al Nakba to commemorate the day that Palestine became no longer Palestine. May 15, 1948, Zionist Israel claimed ownership of my homeland, Palestine. Free, free Palestine! While the Zionists celebrate this day, the Palestinians mourn it. Today marks 67 years of Palestinian expulsion. 700,000 Palestinians were expelled on this day. Hundreds of Palestinian towns and villages were destroyed. Today, several million Palestinians are scattered across the world as refugees waiting for their right of return. The Nakba marks years of violations of human rights, ethnic cleansing, colonization, apartheid and occupation. There have been decades of negotiation and people talking to each other. And while that's happened, the settlements have just expanded. The growth rate is 5% every year. Over half a million Israeli settlers, most of them really extremist Zionists, living on Palestinian land. In our thousands, in our millions, we are all Palestinian. Defence forces can come in whenever they want, go into your house, detain you for doing nothing. It happens on a daily basis, people being dispossessed, people being thrown out of their houses. I've seen all this. Nakba is, is a genocide of Palestine. Well, Australia is contributing to maintaining the conflict. It's on the extreme fringe of world opinion, obviously, in that it sides with Israel in international bodies like the UN. I guess the comments by Foreign Minister Julie Bishop and the lack of I guess awareness on international law is simply appalling from someone in her position. The foreign minister's demanding of an Israeli journalist which bit of international law is it that makes the settlements illegal? Of course only the best known bit, the fourth Geneva Convention which says that the occupying power must not transfer any of its population into the territory it occupies. <laughs> I think it would be the role of the Australian society to stand up against oppression. And I say if enough Australians come and stand up to this, that we could actually force it upon our governments to act. To the Palestinians, keep your fight up, the liberation of your lands and your people. Never ever give in to those that want to oppress you and keep you down. Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! They need to find a way of agreeing with each other, Israel and Palestine, of living together side by side. Israel cannot stop is the spirit of struggle of the Palestinian people. Free, free Palestine! They don't get to take our lands and move their people into our lands and keep assuming that that's right for them. It's not. And we're not going to give up the fight, even if it takes 67 years, 150 years, no matter how long. We keep marching, okay? And nothing is going to stop us marching. And they can keep moving in their populations, but we're going to keep resisting. And every year we're going to stand here and we're going to tell you that Israel, what you're doing is wrong. Morally, legally, it's wrong. And we're not going to give up the fight for Palestinians.